Uh, it's hard to breathe. I know that's how I feel. I'm like, <sighs> but you have a baby, so that's a little bit harder. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's just the belly. Okay. 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 Ready? One, two, three. Hi. Hi. I keep looking down here still. Yeah, I'm still looking there. there too. Okay. <laughs> Yo, it's cat lurking. What up? <laughs> <laughs> so we just got done doing a Twitch. If you're watching this episode. Um, and there's the screen right here. We're reading the chat. And so if we accidentally look down here, sorry, it's uh, a that, muscle That's memory. where we twatch. Yes, <laughs> we twatch over there. <laughs> okay, so what are we talking about again? Catfishing. Yes. Yes. Just like how wild the internet is, right? And oh, like, hello. So the reason why that subject even came up is we were talking about the one Netflix... Um, documentary that came out uh-huh. um a manti tale mm-hmm. and like i don't even think a lot of people until that thing came out really knew like the dirty details of what happened and that shit was crazy it was i yeah. felt so bad for him after i watched that i was like you really were the butt of every fucking joke and i was laughing too until i really knew like the fucking backstory i was like damn right. he got fucked over so bad yeah one of the biggest things that I, I remember from it is that the, the internet wasn't prevalently used at that point. I mean, it was, it was used, but it wasn't like as, as it is today. Mm-hmm. Um, so whatever story that you heard about Manti Teo and the issue with, you know, his grandmother passing and then his quote unquote girlfriend passing a lot of it, you were hearing actually still on the news, right? You know, like right. on sports center mm-hmm. or, or Dateline NBC. And, True. um, but, but even, even though, the whole the whole thing if you watch a documentary um it happened on facebook it was still one of those where we didn't have we still didn't have the resources to really really check right you know what i mean right. uh, yeah, where you could go all in like that. yeah and and mm-hmm. and then the, the sad part is after all of that he didn't he didn't have the resources to to also like rebel- validate and, him yeah right mm-hmm. like 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 to like to, to turn the story because at that point everybody it, it you know there wasn't like oh here's here's a new here's my new um my new tweet or right. or or my new whatever and the, this is this is exactly what happened and whatnot and and to this day i still don't understand why there wasn't really like a lot of uh i don't know whether or not they didn't uh push the push the agenda that he was the victim or right. the, the media just wash um wash it under the rug right well before any like we go further too so if for those who have not seen the netflix sh- um documentary. documentary make sure you guys watch it i it it would definitely open my eyes a lot mm-hmm. um and it made me more so like upset mm-hmm. but do you think the per- what you're talking about do you think the purpose of netflix coming out with it was to show his side or go more in depth of like what happened like what why do you think it highlighted it it took until netflix bringing that up to highlight like what happened i think it was just um i think for him he also didn't want to necessarily be look uh, look manti teo was a highly publicized um athlete coming out of um Notre dame mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and Notre dame is one of the biggest you know college football programs there is so whenever Notre dame is good because there are technically you know the one of the bigger schools the lime the limelight's going to be on you. So he ha- he already had the spotlight on him the whole entire time right. for his athletic ability. Then then that whole thing happened, and then now the limelight is still on you, but bigger now because now you're not only being covered by ESPN, you're being covered by TMZ, Dateline, NBC, you know the the regular stations. Um, I truly believe that at some point he just didn't want it to to keep continue. Yeah, you have you, you have to stop and be like, you know what. Let me disappear for a couple of years. Yeah. Do you think, like, wh- what do you think the purpose was for Netflix to show his side or to bring up this story? I think, I think for him, it was just basically like you, you guys, you know, hopefully this tells you the this, this story when I'm ready to actually tell it, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, you don't necessarily, you know, you know, because of what happened to him, um, he wanted basically, he, if he continued it, it would have it would have continued from you know the day he left the Chargers to when he played for the other teams. I believe he played for the Saints and whatnot. That just becomes another burden right. that 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 you have to handle. I mean, you have yeah you, you have you have family, you have professional football, you have games to to uh, to actually you know 
prepare for, the last thing you want is to continue to drag this this thing, you know, with you for years when you know that you are nest, you you were the victim and you had no fault in it whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I remember there was a certain part um, that people were like, "Why are you so? Why was he?" you know, why were you so dumb to fall for that? Or like, um, just making, putting the blame on, you know, Manti Mm -hmm. of the whole catfishing thing. But he even said it from the get go. Like if this was, if, even if he wasn't being catfished, this was a regular person who is like genuine. He even said so himself, like I'm a busy person. So whether I get to, I'm not going to be able to see you you know, in person often, like I'll only get to talk to you when I can talk to you. And it's like, that's like a normal day for a person now. Like we're, we're really busy. And if you respect that, then you don't see no issue. So for them to point their fingers at him and was like, how did you not fucking know? Blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, there could be some other factors that he could have probably avoided this situation. Yeah. Like there's FaceTime now and there's like, there's other different types of, um, interaction that we, could have done right Mm -hmm. to to avoid it but that's still sad that they put they pointed fingers at him like yeah and i thought too um in in agreeance with that was the way that they like i i'm glad that um he was able to get his story out through netflix but there was also this part of me that was like i don't know if you guys remember throughout the whole documentary maybe like three four times they would flash like we didn't know about the transition like blah 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 we didn't know this going in so it was almost like they romanticized her transition and made her look like a star again you know and Mm -hmm. like this victim again and that kind of bothered me i'm like so this person ruined this man's career right and his credibility and just fucking embarrassed the fuck out of him to, to be quite honest and she just caught like a slap on the wrist is that all what ha- that's what happened she got to run like basically run away right and, and then oh well this is cool. my way of transitioning and mm. i get to live this whole glory life but yeah i think it was fucking ridiculous. basically there was no accountability and yes, i think yes and exactly. i think the reason why netflix did that is because they also didn't want to offend the lgbtq community Right. The, the, yeah. the minute, the minute, yeah, the, the minute you start yeah. to question the, the motives and stuff like that. And they, you know, there's going to be somebody that thinks that, you know, oh, you're attacking the LGBT, the, the trans community. Um, you know, you're, and that's not the case here. It's genuinely right. what she did was fucked up and she should, any person, straight, bisexual, get whatever, whatever should pay, yeah. f- should pay or not necessarily pay like in a mean way, but like have consequences for those type of actions, you know, at the end of the day. But I agree with you. That's probably why they didn't because they don't want to offend that community. Yeah. You know? And and she gets, she gets, she gets a, she gets a, a complete pass from it. You know, it's, it's almost like, you know, wipe the slate clean and he lives with the trauma of it right. for the rest of his life. Right. You know, like, unfortunately, anytime you mention Manti Teo, you're always going to, anybody that was there around a sports fan or just somebody that's familiar with the story would always think about the, the fake girlfriend, the fake girlfriend. The fake girlfriend. And he's like tainted for life yeah, because of that. Because you know? his name is attached to it. Like, look, I'll be honest. I can't remember her name. Right. I can't remember her name. I can remember her face, but I can't remember her name. Yeah. And yeah. that's, that's the yeah. thing. It's like. You know, you, you, now you have a complete sure. change because you've transitioned. You you moved to um, you moved to Samoa or whatever. Um, you know, and then now you're living this whole life. And ne- yeah, it 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 was horrible of Netflix to make it look like such a grand thing. Like you know, like, like it as was you her said, story of coming out. Yeah, yeah. like like yeah, it's like it's like it's like it's like oh yeah, like this 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 path I took, this glamorous path to who I am. And they had her dancing at the end, like yeah. like 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 it was a showcase. And I'm like. Bro, that this isn't what the story is about. Right. This is about this fool did a really fucked up thing. Yeah, it's, and then like no no repercussions of it whatsoever. They they they, they, they the the questions they asked them they asked her was not pressing. No. There was no pressure involved. It was right. just almost like, "Well, tell us your side of the story." Right. And you know, I think it's important to that we have this discussion too because that's something we talk about on our channel a lot, right? How a lot of times there's this double standard towards men, you know, that's not really fair for them. And that's in this case, like I really feel like that's present, right? Because imagine if this was if Matteo was a female, you know, like everyone would be like, "Oh my gosh, this poor girl," and then they would make the man look like a monster, right? Like, "Oh right. my god, this guy is a fucking predator." Predator, blah yeah. blah, blah, this and that, but because it's like this 
beautiful coming out story like you said there's no accountability it's really right. fucking disturbing you know yeah well, I, I completely agree but just in case other people haven't watched this can you summarize what's going on oh, for, uh, obviously not yeah. for me but for other people uh, obviously for Vince because he hasn't seen it. Nor is he familiar with who M- Manti Teo is. <laughs> yeah. He's a quarterback right. for the Dallas Ducks. Yeah, okay. So basically, Manti Teo, highly regarded football player. He was a runner-up for the Heisman Trophy, which is college football's best player. Um, and he was in college. He somehow be- befriended somebody or had a friend request from somebody that he thought he knew from you know common friends or whatever on Facebook. They start, t- they start chatting it up and, you know, they're getting along so well, yada, yada, yada. And it was to the point where she was using, like, she had, like, this, like, this, this female voice. Like, she just flip it like a switch. Like, she'd have a female voice when he talked to her on the telephone. So, he thought nothing of it. Like, okay, I have this relationship with this female. female. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, his, well, not, yeah, all of a sudden, things start to unravel. His, um, his grandma passed away. Mm-hmm. And right around the same time, the girlfriend, the, the girlfriend supposedly passed away. He heard from a friend of a friend or whatever that, that she was the in a message car accident. that she was in a car accident. She passed away. So now, headline of the story going into the national championship game against Alabama. Mm-hmm. If you want, if you want to get that specific, it was against Alabama, and they and they got their ass whooped. <laughs> but anyway. Um, <laughs> that the big the big story was here is this you know all American athlete going through his trials and tribulations and being able to play in one of the most important games of, of his career thus far. Yeah. And then I think like a, a few months later, he received a text message from the girl saying, well, there, there must, you know, but you know, I'm really sorry I made that up. I didn't really pass away. Then as soon as that started to happen, things started to unravel. Right. And then, and then the, 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 you know, he, he started to get, I, I believe he was just starting to get like, uh, he was kind of lost in the sauce, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, there's just a confusion. And he started kind of, um, like, not necessarily being there mentally. Uh-huh. And finally, news came out that they, this this person was fake. It was fake, yeah. Oh. Like, they some there, there was somebody that was putting together the story. It was like a no-name, um, like, editorial, like, newspaper or something like that right and they were like the first ones and then i remember they even said in the documentary that it wasn't their intention to have this crazy story it was just to prove that uh matt titeo wasn't as perfect as he seemed remember because he was like this perfect guy and they're like there's there's something that has to be off and then they ended up fucking finding this whole big story yeah they they basically they went through this and then the wormhole and they they they, i think they did a couple research and then they go who's this guy who's this person this person so basically how they found out was the guy that played the girl went mm-hmm. to college with this girl. They were friends. Mm-hmm. So he used her pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then um, they found, they actually found the actual person of that photo, contacted her, didn't know what the hell that they were talking about. Mm-hmm. But when he was, when that girl friend was proving to Manti that she's alive and shit like that, he, there was a certain person that asked for her to take a picture of a certain thing because he's like, well, I don't believe you, blah, 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 blah. Take a picture of yourself with, you know, I think, I think it was like a saying. A or saying something. and then like a, like a peace sign or whatever. Yeah, or a peace sign or something like that because he, he, yeah. he was known for doing something, right? Mm-hmm. And she, that girl did, then sent it, and he was like, oh, shit, she's actually alive, yada, yada, yada. She's yeah, real, yeah. 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 And... um and the obviously when the you know media got in contact with her she obviously knew who um Man's was, idea was no who oh. was behind the story of oh, acting okay, like okay. her because there's only one person that asked, asked her to take, to that, take that, picture. that picture right oh, okay yeah yeah so basically and then it just blew up into the media that he's like this he you know he's like this fraud that he doesn't have like this family oriented because he's I forgot what his... um So at first the media thought that his motive was to look like this sad story. Yeah. You know, and oh, this, like okay. this, the, he was trying to play like Captain save ho to the public, but mm-hmm. really he didn't even know he was getting played. You yeah. Know? Oh, okay. Yeah. And then the, it highlighted that the person who was catfishing him was like going out to this whole like 
coming out story, basically. Mm-hmm. That he's not straight, he's gay. And, and his whatever. whole excuse for doing it was because he didn't know himself and he was very insecure and I'm coming out now. And mm-hmm. yeah, that was the... That's fucked up. Yeah, that was yeah. his reasoning for yeah. doing it. So those of you guys that <laughs> didn't watch it, unlike myself, now you're mm-hmm. caught up. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's there's so much other details in between. You have to watch it to really like, you yeah, know, feel for it. him and understand. But uh-huh. some of the stuff, like, how do you go that far? Okay, once she like died right in the car accident, then he could they could have just left it at that, right? Mm-hmm. But then for that person to go further on, <laughs> yeah, it's it's an it's I think it's an ego thing. Yeah, I think it's it's basically like your. You're 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 still wanting that you're you're still wanting that power attention yeah and then that mm-hmm. and then that attention and I don't know man it's like you know and for all the detractors and all the people pointing fingers like you should have known you should have known you should have known listen get off your fucking soapbox okay like yeah. hindsight is twenty twenty right <laughs> right it's always twenty twenty and 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 everybody always wants to stand up and tell tells you. Oh, I would have done the same thing. No, you wouldn't. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, if you were stuck in that position where you met somebody, and there's many of you that have. Yep. You know, and uh, you, you you can't you can't just ultimately like blame somebody. Like, yeah, that would have 100 percent happened to me because I'm like ultimate simp. Like, if if Ed Sheeran's album was a person, it would be me. <laughs> <laughs> have you any of you guys um, ever experienced any form of catfishing? Um, in a way. Yeah, in, in a, a way. In, in a way. Yeah, in a way, yes. Um, I knew what his face looked like, but when I met him in person, neck down was not what I expected. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, I was okay with it. I just wish, like, you would have told known. me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. How about you? Have you ever been catfished or in a way catfished? I have, um what's the smirk i'm like what's the story <laughs> no 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 no. i have uh i have you had have somebody yeah no 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 i haven't i haven't catfished anybody because i don't know how to catfish mm-hmm. it's like like i said before i'm not playing hard to get it's just hard to want so it's like look this is me mm-hmm. whatever but um but i have had a girl that sent me pictures of somebody that was looked similar to her and then when we were supposed to meet up like I saw her and I was like, "That's not you," and oh. I just didn't meet up. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Well, you saw her from the from from afar, like yeah, as she from, was walking. Yeah, down? from far, and then like I was like, "Oh wait, that's you completely lied to me." Did you ghost her? I yeah I I I did. She she hit me up and everything, and I was like, "Damn, that's pretty." It's pretty fucked up because like she was she was putting on this whole like facade, like you know I I. I was attracted to her Instagram profile. Yeah. So I was like, oh, cool. Somebody that I can go out to eat with. Somebody that I can, like, hang out with and do these fun things. And then come to find out, like, you know, she, um, yeah, she, I I did find out that she, uh, she's done that before. But then she's, like, all these fancy dinners and all that other stuff, they're paid for by other oh, people so i was I like oh okay so she was just gonna use me so it was really no problem with me like whatever mm-hmm. dropping her. yeah because yeah. because when she when she um hit me up she's all hey where are you how come you didn't show up or how co- why are you running late why aren't you talking to me and then like i didn't even get a chance to reply because mm-hmm. uh, i was already like okay fuck this and yeah. then i just went somewhere else but i was driving and you know i don't like to text while i drive right so she's all like, you know what? You can afford my meals anyways, blah, blah, blah. And I was oh, like, my what? God. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Have, have you ever been catfished? Um, I told you guys that story in one of the recent streams about the guy that was had the really deep voice. Do you guys oh. remember that? Yo. And then when I came over, he was like some little ass fucking Filipino guy that was pretending to be like a sexy big black man. <laughs> yeah. So there was that. <laughs> what about you, Grant? I can, I always get catfished. Who do you mean? Always? No, look, I to me catfishing sometimes it's it's not necessarily like pretending to be another person or sending photos of somebody that looks like you. Sometimes seventeen filters makes you look not like you, and yep. and, and, yeah, and, and, that's and, true. and and angles also. Yeah. So mm-hmm. and liquefy. 
<laughs> yeah. No, the, you just learned how to use that, right? Me? Yeah. Like on on uh, Photoshop or whatever. Oh no, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't stand using that thing. That thing look my my face looked like like all fucked up. How? One more. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was all like I had like a botched Botox surgery. Oh man. Um. No, but like, here's the thing too. Like, and, and this is my public service announcement to women. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Just look natural. Just look natural. Like, look look how you should look when you show up to the date, yeah. right? And because at the end of the day, yeah, while guys look at you for, for, for your looks, mo- most guys, 99.9% of the guys are looking for somebody that they're attracted to, right? Yeah. Remember, we discussed this, like, this person might not look good to me, but you might look good to somebody else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, there's somebody there for you. Right. So you're not there to try to, you know, you're not there to try to cast a net mm-hmm. to try to catch every guy. Yeah. Right. You're trying to catch the guy. Yeah. You're trying yeah. to catch the guy. The girl. And, and the problem is, is that, you know, like even, even if, even if you looked okay, but you didn't look quite as good as your profile, I would feel insulted when I meet up. Then at that point, do I trust you now? So now you have a negative notch That's on. That's why you have to have some of those no makeup pictures on there. You know? So wait, do you, no do you guys have any? Do you guys have any um, things that that you learned from the documentary or that you've experienced yourself that um, are signs of catfishing? Um. So when I was doing online dating before, I had requirements that like I have to. Six, talk- <laughs> no, not the six 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 rule. <laughs> no, but like, um, I have to hear your voice for sure, um, and we have to v- video call. Okay. And if they they're not down to do um, either one, mm-hmm. then to me it's a red flag. <laughs> it's already on a hot tub stream. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? So I low key feel like I got catfished by my ex that was a narcissist, you know, because although like kind of what Queer Rich said, it wasn't necessarily a different person, but he mm-hmm. sold me a different person. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Then if we're talking about that, then yes. Hell yes. I got catfished. Yeah. Oh, I, then Now that you put it like that, I got catfished too. Yeah. Because, yeah. well, I mean, he literally was like, he, he lied about his job. He mm-hmm. lied about his age. He mm-hmm. lied about his race. You know, like every detail was a lie because he wanted to build whatever he thought was my like ideal person. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Wait, you're not Tyrese. Yeah, well, no, he was like, <laughs> I remember he's like, yeah, I'm half black. Oh. I'm half black, half Vietnamese, half white. And then I started talking to one of my homegirls that happened to know him. And she was like, that fool is not fucking half black. Are you fucking kidding me? No. She was like, he's blah, blah, blah. And me being stupid still didn't. He lied that he was 21, over the age of 21. He was under the age of 21, so I was older than him. Mm-hmm. Like, wow. it was crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, people, people are so weird. This isn't build a fucking bear. You right. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, the same build a so bitch. to answer your question, what I learned was yeah. to not take things at face value. And, like, if, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, like you have to... If you're trying to portray that you have no flaws, you have all the fucking flaws. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and well, that is your one strong. flaw. Oh, <laughs> that would be your one flaw if you're trying to portray you don't have any flaw. That is yeah. a that big is, ass flaw. That's yeah. flaw. Yeah, yeah for well, sure. Very, very true. How did I word it? My fucking brain went dead. But yeah, whatever, mm-hmm. however you said it is what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said you have all the Mommy flaws. Mommy brain. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I get it. So she she's a 10, but she thinks she's a 10. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. That's red it. Red flag. Dude, I fucking love playing that game with, with like my coworkers. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm down. I'm All down right. for those. Let's, let's <laughs> go right now. <laughs> what, what's the game? best go. one that you've heard? He's a 10, but... No, I saw, I did this to my, my coworker, right? Uh-huh. I was like, she's a 10. Everything, 10. But she got a crazy-ass baby daddy. Like, psycho baby daddy. Mm. I've been training for that. Yeah. Same. <laughs> for, for me, she's a 10, but she can't fart in front of me. Are there... <laughs> That's not how the game is played. <laughs> no. Okay. You have to, do you know rule. how to play the game? Yeah. But, okay. but, but really think about it. <laughs> so what? Would she wait, drops wait, to okay. like a number what? So wait, that's her rule? Like she's a 10, but then she, her, her, like her defect is that she won't fart in front of you? Yeah, because she, she because at that, at, that, at that point she has no, she has no way to be self-efficating. So she's what so number what would you rate her? Wait, self efficating doesn't that mean that you shit on yourself? That's defecating. 
What's efficating? Same thing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so what number would you rate her then? I'd probably rate her. Uh, depends on. No, that's so not that's how the game so the game is, either. So what he's trying to say, right? Explain. Uh, he's trying to say she's a ten, but she farts in front of me. So no, you she say can't. The neg- she cannot. So you want her to fart in front well, of you? Well, because I want somebody. I want somebody that's actually comfortable. More, like that's comfortable. Okay. Yes. Uh, so you are playing it right. You're just it's just a weird thing. Okay, I was just, just like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I, the I, to, I played it like, oh, she's a ten, but crazy baby daddy. Then you rate her a different number. Is that how you guys played it? No, it's it, it's she's a ten, you but she has this forth. one Big defect thing. or whatever okay, or red quick. flag. Oh, I played and it then, different. And then, it's, and then it's like, does that change it? Yes or no? Yes or no? Oh, okay. So like, oh, for example, I played it different. She, she's a 10, but she only wears 10 inch heels. <laughs> 10 inch heels? Jesus. She, what the fuck? <laughs> she, <laughs> wait, how tall is she at before that? So she's always above you. Wow. No, because that's dumb. So yes or no? No. Okay. Go. That's some crazy shit. Go. I dang, I play Go. it differently then. I drop like then we rate her like, oh no, fuck that. She's a five now. Oh uh, no. Mm. Oh, damn. That's that's actually makes it longer though. That's fun. Cause yeah. then you like give your, your rating. That no, but there's harder. there's some there's some fives, there's some sixes, sevens that I'll date. But then like if that one defect is fucked up, no. It's a no. Yeah. yeah. I like the rating part. <laughs> I think it's more because fun. okay, like okay, like let's let's say this, like let's say um, <laughs> let's say she's a ten, but she wets the bed. No, what well, depends on that how bitch she is a w- one. <laughs> how does she wet the bed? Wait, how, what do you mean how? Like she pees. pees? Yeah, I mean, he hit. I mean, did, Umi, he did, did, she, did she did she squirt or did she actually just pee? No, she no, peed oh, like no. a baby. Oh. Even if she squirts, that's inconvenient if you do it all the time. <laughs> right, it's just always wet in your bed. Ew, gross. I like the rating. It's funner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. okay, give give me an example then. So, um, she's a ten, but she's a ten, but she only, <laughs> this is a funny one. She's a ten, but she only orders chicken at Korean barbecue. Oh, she's a zero. Oh, no, the, the, what she orders has nothing to do with me. I if as long as she's not taking my food, she's still a ten. Okay, what about you? Oh, she's a five. <laughs> Thank you. Dang, that's hella like a four, three, two, one. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, no, chi- only chicken. Phone only guys. chicken. chicken. What, at Korean barbecue. At Korean oh, barbecue. Man. That's well, like okay. the last thing I but order. But what does what does that have to do with your experience? Because, because we got a vibe together, bro. Yeah, <laughs> okay. she can eat. Like, okay, so that's kind of like saying, what if, uh, what if she's a ten but she's a vegetarian? No, listen. You know how long it takes to cook chicken. <laughs> you know how long it takes to cook chicken. I'm hungry as fuck. My, 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 yeah, but my, you don't my, have to say. My beef like, is my, all like, crunchy. My chadol beggy, my chadol beggy, and my samgyeopsal are already nice and cooked, yep. and we're still on one side of her fucking chicken. Yep. Then I have to sit there and wait and watch her. She's uh, she's taking up too much room with that fucking nah, grill. Listen, <laughs> no, it's cool. I don't give a fuck. All right. Okay. Let's see. How about you, Queer Rich? She's a 10, but... I don't know. You guys. So you me. mean to tell me Christine Mendoza or Ali Baggett or like Song Hai Lee? <laughs> Whoa! If, you if, bring it away. If all of, Okay, if, hey, if any hey, of them... First and foremost, Song Hai Lee... I didn't say that. Song Hai Lee would never order just chicken. Okay, what if she did, though? See, don't bend the rules. Like, what if she did? You, you'd say no to her? Of course not. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's the whole point. I'm. I'm just saying. But you're talking about Ali back at Shanghai Lee and Christine Mendoza. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm. Th- I'm talking about tens. Th- th- these aren't tens. Th- these are real tens. Tens yeah, are exa- models. Tens are ex- fucking. Ex- exactly. Big about, do you know her personality though? Well, Christine Listen, Mendoza is cool. I don't know the other one. Her personality is but about like I said, 34D. Yeah. Oh, that's her. <laughs> <laughs> Look, but like, listen. But you said ten, so that means everything's perfect except the fact that she orders yes. chicken. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen. Yeah. Those guys, those, those three that we mentioned, are not tens. They're like, they're like god tier tens, right? So when you notch them down, yeah, they're it takes, tens it, of tens. It, it's basically like okay, so they're like eights at that point. <laughs> you regular folk, five. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's what I'm thinking when you're saying tens. I'm talking like based on her looks, 
she's getting model contracts based on her personality she's wor- she's winning like your standards awards are and shit. so different yeah yeah your your your, your, your your standards are over here like hot import nights my no, stand my stand my standards <laughs> over here are like asian avenue no, no like but tens aren't tens perfect though because it's rated out of 10 it's perfect to you perfect to me it's different it's no, rated Asian Avenue and her screen name says Asian underscore baby yeah. 619 it's all like uppercase and lowercase and shit <laughs> and then baby has the at sign instead That's of an A yeah and she types all uppercase yeah. Yeah. My, my cousin used to do this shit. but anyway no okay <laughs> Oh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's always room for growth, as always. But the, I will never meet somebody like. Well, I don't. I, I'm not gonna say that. Like Ali Baggett. Are you? Are you? I know. We're like the same age. I know. Oh, <laughs> Sasha Singleton. Mm. She was bad as fuck too. I don't know her. You don't know her? No. She's at five. Okay, but okay. So okay. Okay. okay name okay. one though. So I already named one. She's a ten, but I can't think of it right now. Okay, she's a 10, Ari, but... She's a 10, but... Or he, you can play how... Yeah. Yeah. We can do girls first. It's okay, let's girls. do the girls first. Yeah. Okay. There's one, she's, she's a 10, but she told me to go fuck myself. I still love you, Gina. She's a 10, but her feet are always black <laughs> on the bottom and dirty. Oh, uh, that, nope. Nope. Uh. Nope, that bitch is a 2. Right? <laughs> that <laughs> part. 1.7, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I can't deal with that. Yeah, I can't yeah. do the dirty feet either. It's like your turn, Vince. She's a ten, but damn, I don't know. I don't know one. He's all. She's a know. ten, but she don't open my door. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so hard because I don't really. I'm not really that picky. You have to think. Of You're fucking like, picky. Uh, you don't are picky. Start. Stop it. You are so picky. You are picky more Please than you start. think. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's like. This was a, the so red flag for me, but she's a ten, but she's a hypocrite. Mm, yeah, that's a no. Like, like she's like in the sense that, oh, you should do photo shoots, and then it's like, okay, well, you look good. Doing. No, no, no. Like, like she looks good, and she knows she looks good. She'll even talk shit about the girls that do photo shoots, and then she was all like, no, I don't want to do a photo shoot. I'm like, fucking, well, shut up then, bitch. So this sounds like it's coming from somewhere. Mm-hmm. The I, past. I sense past. <laughs> we yeah. should go back and do confessions. <laughs> yes. Okay, she's a ten, but she only showers once a month. Okay, wait. So I just feel I just heard this before. Sometimes girls think showering is washing their hair. Yes, but they wash their body. Yes, wait, what? like 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 they'll daily like wash their body but then once uh, like i only wash my hair about one to two times a week same yeah, yeah. but so, when but, but sometimes girls think that when you say i only shower one once a week they're only counting they're only they counting shower. they they're no, counting no, their I'm hair. Ta- no okay. body shower is a shower yeah. okay so once a month of clean body just once a month she's a 10 but she doesn't she doesn't wash her vajayjay on the side she doesn't use a washcloth on her body sponge bath style she, the only time she cleans herself mm. is once a month mm. does she smell yes it's a no for me that's a no for me yeah because some, but because there's some there's some people that don't necessarily shower that has no body odor yeah no no mm-hmm. don't shower every day only because it it Look, when you whenever you shower and you're like, you know, like your your skin get itchy, it's because you have dry skin. Dry so skin, you yeah. you have to add lotion. So a lot of a lot of people, they they don't necessarily shower every day. They go like every other day, only yeah. only to preserve that that natural oils in their body. Yeah, you I know, know a lot I mean? of people that do that too. Yeah. yeah. So if if you stink though, yeah, if you, if you stink, you gotta shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you gotta hop in the shower. Okay, all right. <laughs> this is a petty one. She's a ten. But when she texts you, it's a green bubble. <laughs> mm. She can still be a 10 for me. That, that means no airdrop. That means like the shitty quality um, like pictures. I, I'd, I'd let that one slide. Same. How about you? Oh, I can't do it. He's like, I can't do it. Okay, here's one. Ari, ready? Okay. He's a 10, but he doesn't shave at all. Like, like anything. Fa- anything. 
how long does the hair get? <laughs> how long does it get? Where is the stopping point? There's no like he it just, just continues. Yeah. Oh. So he looks like he it's clean? like a full moon all he's the clean. time. He's clean. He's clean. But like he, the but the, he's <laughs> he's like what? Uh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm picturing. I'm picturing <laughs> like <laughs> the pee dripping down the sides and it just sitting there and like yeah. But he'll still like shower and <gasps> stuff. <sighs> No, I can't. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I, you know what? I, Wait, what about you? I said, <laughs> I said a five point five. That's like and, a and, fucking three and, and a half. Is me. a five point five a yes for you or no? It's like I'll, I'll consider. Like, how does he make up? <laughs> how does a five point five make up for it? Trim, trim. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> you you said that he doesn't do, do that. No, so yeah, you take I said that out. No shave. That oh, means okay. completely off. But if he trims, oh, then yeah. I'll be like, I, I can do that cool. compromise, like clean cut trim. Yeah. You can compromise as long as there's some kind of maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good with that. Oh, okay. For sure. How about you guys? Same question. She's a see, 10. Nope. But zero. Nope. Bye. <laughs> see you later. Like, no. See, no. See you later. No. Nope. Nope. Ball, just. <laughs> I don't want people. Yeah. Like you can, you, cr- to, you can to, fucking braid that yeah. shit. Yeah, I don't want. I I don't want mm-hmm. when she puts her hands up. People think automatically that she drives a Prius and she's a vegan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. She can be. She can drive a Prius and she can be a vegan. But I just don't want people, people to, to think that, that right away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm like I have a confession. Okay. Okay. There's whenever I see I'm like. I can't when like (laughs) like if I see we're out and about and I like a girl wears a tank top and I can see like a bush under your armpits I fucking can't stop staring yeah (laughs) and I make that shit so fucking known I'm like like she got a treasure troll in a headlock or something like like that for those who are listening on audio please wait till the video form like okay ready (laughs) (laughs) that's my face yeah it's just i just imagine it being like uh, like dirty and like smelly and like moist you know and like the hair (laughs) i can't i can't i can't i cannot i love how we went from catfishing to there you go i know if you catfish a guy and you have long ass fucking shit going on over here Uh in your armpits he's not the go yeah she's a 10 but Okay, so she's a 10, but she eats her boogers. (laughs) 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 It fits his face. (laughs) But, and there's like, it's just like wherever she feels like it too. Like she could be at a restaurant. Oh, no, no. You know, not in the privacy, like wherever she wants. No, like you're not ruining Sung Hai Lee for me. Like, she, she, she picks her nose it, and yo. she goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> she rolls into you know when people fucking pick their nose when you, you see, see them this? drive and yeah. you're going like this. Yeah, <laughs> they roll into a mm-hmm. ball. So mm-hmm. she knows the technique. I say that puts her at an eleven. <laughs> wow. What about you? Okay. What about you, Koya? What? Is she, what is she? What do you mean? If she does that. No, what, 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 sorry. Booger thing. Oh, no, <laughs> that's zero. Like, you know, what, what, what drives you to that extent? It's salty, they say. No, fuck no. <laughs> no, like, like, you I don't know. care about you picking it, but don't eat, eat it. it. Oh, God, right? It's, ugh, it's so gross. Just don't kiss me with your mouth open. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I already, I already hate it when I'm like, when you have that cold and you, you do this yeah. and like that thing goes in the back of your yeah. throat and you're mm-hmm. like, I just swallowed the booger. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. but gross. but at least I didn't taste it. All right, I didn't taste it. That's fucking hilarious. No, no. I, okay, I, so I will let this sli- slide because when a girl deep throw to you, that's that's not just spit. That's a form of mucus also. So boogers are just a uh uh what's it called um not like they're just hardened mucus oh but that's right because you, you like the pov where it, you see like the hella lawai fuck yeah i do yeah, mm-hmm. yeah the hella lawai and that's like yeah. the Lawai's best lubricant spit. yeah i remember you saying that gross mm. i mean i've heard i've never had to <laughs> deep throw or like give a girl 
Okay, she's a 10, but she'll, she will never, ever let you come inside of her, ever. That's, that's a win. That's, yeah. a, that's fine. That's an 11. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. She's a 10, but she only wants you to eat her out, and she won't let you put it in. Our other girls. <laughs> the <are> silence. <laughs> the silence. <laughs> are other girls available to do that, too? Is that what wait, wait, asking? no. Okay, wait. So are we talking about fucking, or she won't give head either? She, she won't, won't give head. head. That's all, a zero. All, the, yeah. the only sexual nope. Nope. intercourse is you giving it to her. Yeah. No. That's basically a guy. Yeah. That's basically <laughs> a guy with tits. Like there's no such thing. There's no such thing as chicks with dicks. They're just guys with tits. And that's She's a basically 10, but what she that only is. lets you do her in the butt. That's fine. 19. Okay. <laughs> I wanted uh, okay, I want to tag Grayson cuz I remember on our episode he said he 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 don't need like nothing. He can fucking just eat all day. Mm-hmm. I want to know his fucking answer. Grayson's full of shit. I tell you that. Why? Lying sack shit. <laughs> no, no. Remember he said sometimes all you need is that, and I agree with that. But Sometimes. then, if you never get any uh, reciprocant, yeah, yeah, then there's no point. Mm. I like how y'all pause real quick and had to think about that. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Those are important things to think about. Yeah. What if Ali Baggett sees this? Okay, he's a ten, but the ratio to coming is one to ten. Like he doesn't come as often. No, like no, you no, no. Come you once get, yeah. and he goes like ten, and then like you go once, and then he goes like. 10. I'm okay with that. Like not like not in a one session, but like you will only come once in a blue moon, and he'll come all the time. Hey, the moon's always blue. <clears throat> but he's still putting it in. Yeah, you're just not coming. <laughs> so like almost every single time you guys have sex, you don't come. I would drop him down to like maybe an eight. And is I, eight acceptable? For yeah, you? I would okay. still date him because. I don't have to come every single time. I'm okay with like. But like, what if it's like three times a year? Three times a year? Yeah. Then I can just get myself off. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, that's that's true. You can see Bob. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Bob will take care of me. (laughs) Yeah. So now that we've gotten to that level, I'm I'm, I'm asking. (laughs) I'm asking. I'm asking a question. Okay. So, let's say you were with somebody. Okay. That you truly were in love with, and you guys are a mat. You know everything's, you know, rainbows and. Whatever. Have we already had sex at this point too? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it just so happens that you you just can't come. He does, but you can't. Mm-hmm. Are there ways that you, that you would go about doing things to make sure you also got off? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. No. So, no. So- Dur- during the process, <laughs> not necessarily stopping and you know grab bob or you do it on your own control and put yourself in a position right like either ride him or like switch him up or tell him what to where to put your or leg i like rub while he's yeah 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 just wondering oh, okay that's a good you, question you need, well you I, I i have a question <laughs> following up on that um okay. so if if the, it's a 10 and then like that scenario what does that drop them down to nothing wait where zero they to, no like oh. i'm saying like it to me because I know I'm a very difficult person to to get there. Okay. So sometimes, like, I have to do things to myself in order for me to get there. Okay. So that's why I'm, like, I don't have to come every single time. I get more pleasure, like, feeling you inside me mm-hmm. than to always have to come. Okay. I don't know. I'm probably, I, I'm, I'm weird. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah. Okay, he's a 10. Okay. But he has pet skunks. <laughs> <laughs> do they and do they spray us these do, do skunks? They, yeah, do they have their They're cute. The glands no, 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 no. They keep this is spraying. This is the thing. You guys You're met on vacation. At any time. No, you he guys met, met on you guys met on vacation. You guys were on a singles like cruise, so you guys spent a week together. You guys like fell in the fast love. Mm-hmm. You find out that you guys are from the same hometown. And uh, you you come over to his place for the first time and you see the skunk. Do Are the, there glands still yes. there? Yes. For Are there, sprayage? No, normally they have to or else it just continues to spray your entire <laughs> house. It just doesn't make sense. If I pictured that, I feel like that skunk would be afraid either way and they spray when they're afraid, right? Because yeah. he doesn't know me. So I'm going to drop it down to 
And if he doesn't get rid of it, I'm sorry, but you're a fucking okay. One. That's a no for me. No, but I'm saying so if- it drops it. Like you're you're talking about. I'm talking about like Michael B. Jordan, <laughs> like Jason Momoa looking motherfucker, right? Mm-hmm. And <laughs> so it drops it down to a one. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because that just means that. Okay. Mm-hmm. So wait, wait. wait let so me- the skunk has his has his has his uh, has his spray gland still. Is that what you're wait, saying? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Because okay, with, yeah. without it, it's just a... asking about the glands. Yeah. You know, because if without it, it's just a pet. Wait, yeah. wait. Okay, yeah, of course it does. So, so with them dropping down to a one, without the um, getting rid of the skunk as an option, what would get him halfway back? If there's no... Like, the thing can't spray. No, the, but, you, you can't do anything a, with the with put, the skunk. Put them in a controlled area. You know, like no, ha- you can't a pen, you, you can't a change pen. anything uh, a play skunk related. <laughs> Though the whole house would smell like skunk at that point. I feel like there's nothing. There's then. nothing. Like even if it was, he had uh, what's it called? Elon you want Musk me to just money. tell you the fucking answer is yeah, no, Vince. I will still fuck him, even though. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, <laughs> I'm not asking for yeah. you to say that. I'm asking what's gonna get it back to there to kill the skunk. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Get, yo, yeah, to get rid of the skunk. I'm I'm guessing. No, because okay, like so like So that's not an option he said. Here's 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 why I asked this. Like uh, and I'm not calling my dad a skunk or anything, but then like I'm I'm at the age that I'm at, but I still live with my parents because I take care of them. Now, that's a deal breaker for a lot of girls. Now, what can I do to get back into the like at least in the realm of where, you know, yeah, but that's, that's completely to, opposite yeah. than a skunk. Yeah, well, especially because if this one said girl is not even like is not looking at you taking care of your parents as something that's like a beautiful thing or a kind thing or a wow this guy's family oriented thing, then fuck yeah. that woman. You well, know? Wait, like, wait, what if she? What if? What if I see her as the ten, and then that's the only thing that that's like a that deal breaker from me is the fact that she wants to move out with me and, and I can't. Oh, that's a good one. See, so, so what? Okay, if it was me, yeah. In my instance, why can't she move in with you? Yeah. yeah. Well, because of your parents. Yeah, I'm not gonna live with my girlfriend and my parents. See, Lisa so, Marie thinks it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so my thing is, I know this sounds really fucked up, but it's it's the honest truth. Like, you know, your parents are not gonna live forever. You know, so you enjoy that time because I don't wouldn't want you to have any regrets. Mm-hmm. And I would, I would love to see you still have those moments with your parents, you know. Mm-hmm. So until that happens and you go through all that, then all right, like I'm gonna wait. Okay, new scenario. Guy is a ten, but he says he uses the word "bruh." In this day and age, it's Everyone I'm used to it. That. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Like every every like other every other word, like I'm gonna go outside, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, man. My, my, <laughs> son, calls you, bro. my <laughs> son say that, and it's the cutest thing because they're still little, but, I mean, that's how common it, it is yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, Jason calls me bro sometimes. I'm like, first of all, sometimes. Don't we say that in my house bro. all yeah. day, all the time. What the fuck, yeah. bro? Bruh. We go like that as a joke, too. We go, bruh. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it's, an, it's like another hella for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we do it as like a making fun of people, not like being serious, but we do it a lot in our house. Like for so joking. sad. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. What about this? That's so sad. So <laughs> cringe. It is cringe. It is. Yeah. Sure, well, that's why we do it because it's funny. Um, she's a ten, but the only sign of affection she would show you is a, a hand dab, <laughs> <laughs> like a homie. Nope. Where all these problematic women come from? A hand dab? Jesus Christ. She's a 10, but she likes to catfish on the side. Uh, like, Reeling you, it back in, guys. The, 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 okay. Um, oh, really? Wait, 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 <laughs> catfish show. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I'm a, like... <laughs> she likes to... Ca- that means she cheats on me. That, so no, I'm that means she catfish it. me too? Like no, you're the only one that knows her true identity. You live with her, but on the side, you know, some people play video games. We podcast. Yeah, yeah. She she catfishes. No, I mean no, no, that's not. But, so like she's like job she's like cat- ruining that, lives. You know that, that 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 would just be a complete like turnoff. Like not not like uh, not looks wise. 
you know, not physical wise, but more mental. Like I wouldn't, I couldn't handle that. Like what the fuck? Like what me, what drives you to that extent? That's like super, super red flags. You'd probably be a minus so five. What would it be? So a five? Minus five. Oh, a negative five. Yeah no. yeah. no, catfishing is a special kind of breed. So what about this though? Like you talk to this girl, you know she's real, right? But she doesn't tell you until you guys meet in person when you guys start talking about like work. She, let's just say like what she tells you in the beginning is, oh, I'm just trying to start my own business, right? But really her business is being a porn star, would that be a red flag for you guys? No. You're talking to the wrong guy. <laughs> no, you're talking, yeah, you are talking to the wrong guy. So basically she's looking for... Like her catfishing basically is not telling you the truth of what, that's what that, she truly does. That's not, yeah. that's not see, really... you ca- see it as that. I see it as an audition to be in a movie. <laughs> I, I see... Okay. I, Girl, I, are you asking me? <laughs> yeah. I see that, I oh, see that as a way to not necessarily scare off people too. I mean, but it's, you know, it's not... Ne- your your occupation is not something that I'm really interested in. In I'm, it's not part of the equation when I'm trying to date you. No, but if it's <clears throat> obviously okay, if you're dating for long term, like marriage or whatever, mm-hmm. like long long term that term. Okay, right? would that affect you guys? No, her job's her job. My job's my job. So even if you guys were out in public and like, oh, that's so and so and so and so, it wouldn't bug you. No. No. Why would it? Because she comes home to me. So it's yeah, exactly. Like, no matter how good you think she has it on screen, she still goes back to somebody else. So no, I, and I get what like you know, porn stars. It's just a job for them. It's nothing real. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I get it. But then it, it's also like a factor of like I just would hate to get stopped all the time. Yeah, I mean, like it's yeah, but we can get stopped all the time if this podcast <laughs> blew up. Yeah. So I mean, you know. True. Like, you know, like, you know, you have like uh, internet, like streamers that can't walk down the street regularly. Oh, I guess that's it's just the privacy of knowing what they look like underneath naked. everything. Mm-hmm. That That's, that's, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Because I'll date a stripper. I'll, I'll date a porn star. That's fine. Yeah. I, I have one. She, she's a 10, but everything that she does, she does for content. Mm. Mm. Oh. that'd be too much that's yeah like that, too, not, that's a red flag yeah not everything you know me you know me i'll i'll, I'll tell you that you, you know you got to get as much content as you can but not <laughs> fucking everything certain yeah. things should just be, be, be like for she you. does it just for content like she right? wakes up does her makeup gets back in bed and then like wakes up again <laughs> and says hey guys i, I know you're wondering about like my my morning routine yeah, no. Yeah. You know, see, the thing is, like, you know, that's content, though. But, I mean, it's, like, you working 9 to 5. But I'm saying, like, but if, if it's we... all day, every day. Well, it's all... It, it could be, like, not, yeah. I mean, it has to be, like, you know, you stop at, like, 8 or, like, maybe 7 or 8 at night. And then now it's just me and you time. But if it yeah. but but if it gets to the point where, like, we're going on vacation and you're, like, sitting most of the time doing TikToks and, and doing... And then getting, like, selfies and filming video like bro like we're on vacation yeah. that's a no for me or yeah. like um you're fighting and she puts it on there you, know, yeah. you guys i'm so sad right now yeah like, yeah. yeah no okay what about she's a 10 but she's extremely controlling uh, that's a good one you can try yeah no zero you could try to control me yeah good no. luck with that nope no, I'll just, so you, what what would that be? I'd fucking be ghosting somebody. So that'd be a zero. Yeah, that'd be a zero. I'd be like, no. So what could get her up? Like what you were saying, if she was a controlling, is there anything that could outweigh the controlling? Mm, no, because uh, controlling generally is like uh, years of learned behavior. Mm-hmm. So it takes you years to just you know yeah. move past that. Mm-hmm. If I can't take that away from her, then I'll just not be with her. Okay, so yeah, that's so a, there's that's, that's a, deal a that, that's a straight like uh, deal breaker. Yeah. Yeah. How about this? He's a ten. But he's a YouTuber, a streamer. Um, he has a podcast. This is my... <laughs> and, and he has it is a job, and he has no he's time for you. Part-time Korean. <laughs> <laughs> this is his audition for any girl he's, out there. Uh, he, 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 took, he took down some content because it was self-incriminating for breaking and entering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Okay hypothetically no i'm not i can tell the story i i snuck into i snuck into twitchcon 
No, 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 no. He didn't sneak into TwitchCon. He attended TwitchCon without being forced to pay or being restricted by, by authorities. Yes. There you go. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I, I got into TwitchCon. I, I, I vlogged the whole thing. There's a whole, the whole thing. But then yeah. there's all this drama right now that's going on that's happening with, with Twitch with people say boycott Twitch or boycott TwitchCon because of like, you know, some, some, some girl jumped off this thing with like a little fucking foam pit and broke her back in several places. So there's just a lot of drama going on with Twitch what? right now. I don't want that to be something else because everybody was complaining about the lapse of security, how security didn't, there was a disconnect between convention center security and then TwitchCon staff. The problem is though, is that they, you know, the, the people that control the gates are, are convention security. So the city might be, but anyways, I took it down. <laughs> I, t- I took the video down. Oh, okay. I see. I see. But um, what were you we saying? Yeah. Um, <laughs> me, it's a 10. I mean, we, uh, he is a 10. <laughs> but, you know, he's. Yeah, he, we he's, could just end it at that. Yeah, he he's a, a 10. 10. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yep. I mean, you're yeah, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let the guy know. Yeah. You're accepted, Chris. You're, you're, you're accepted. <laughs> who? Chris is like, who? Me? Oh. <laughs> I was asking for a friend. Yes. <laughs> He just, he just texted me that right now yeah. <laughs> on uh, confessions. Yeah, I'm so dead. Okay, well, tying it back to um, catfishing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, there's a nope. This is like, a now. Would you rather? Uh, Easy ten. ten. No. Yeah. No. I tried. I fucking we tried. tried to tie it back. I tried. I'm, I was yeah. like, she's a ten, but she's a catfish. You know, I tried tried i gave it to you i know and then all of a sudden we just rampaged on the whole fucking thing um so it was fun though. it was yeah. really fun yeah. yeah no but okay for real though i i do feel bad for matt titeo you know for the things that he dealt with but his message at the end like still like warm warm my heart i don't remember it word for word but he had a really strong message and for him to still be able to go through that and you know, now he has a beautiful family and like just lived through it and now he's stronger than ever it's it's, it's a beautiful story yeah for him yeah i think i think the one of the biggest things that i got was like you know like he's like i you know i've forgiven her mm. and i'll be honest with you i'm not the type to be like that i yeah. just kind of like i would say fuck you i I, don't, I can't stand you get away i'll never forgive you and just just stay out of my way so you're out of the picture forget yeah, yeah. um but that I think that was the that was the best part. I mean, as far as I looked at it, like, like I can never be that guy. He's such a good like. He's, he's genuinely a good, a good person. Yeah, yeah. that's I mean, why I was like, damn, that's fucked up. Of all people, this like good ass man. Well, that's why I'm saying like that's what pissed me off even more. It's like you know, like towards the end of that, they made it like such a grand like reveal, right? right. Like like that grand transition, and now she's doing this like this Fucking this dance this dance, right? Shit, this yeah. this Samoan dance or or whatever, and it was like now they, they like they're crowning her. They're at, you know, and and I was like, listen. This is somebody that literally, literally fuck with somebody's head, fuck with somebody's career, Life. and they didn't have the balls to sit here and face the fucking music. They ran away to some place where there's 30 people in, 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 in a city that don't know who you are, and yeah. now you're living a whole different life. Yeah. And when you're living that whole different life, guess what? You're catfishing them every single fucking day yeah. because you are not really true to who you are you're going to be fake as fuck and 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 hide your skeletons in the fucking closet and that's what pissed me off how they made it look like like that like she had no repercussions now yeah. i don't know whether or not she actually had to face legal stuff or whatever that's what i wanted to know they, 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 you really don't because she didn't right. do anything illegal Ugh. right she didn't do any she didn't she didn't get money from him she didn't do anything but what i'm saying is is that they made it seem as though like she just it, it was like it was like nothing for her like she she showed no remorse right mm-hmm. right right she showed no remorse she showed she showed um she she still she still seemed as though she was ho- like still in love with a guy yeah yeah for sure and it was almost like this like I did it out of love. Like, like she wanted it to be portrayed like that, you know? So what? Like, yeah. Right, exactly. It was disgusting. So yeah. what would you say should have been, like, a good, um, what what should have she done? A good outcome? Yeah. No, she, she could have ran away. 
Right, but I I, th- I think at some point they would they would they they didn't have to make it look like it was such a magnanim- magnificent journey to get there. No, but for her consequences, what do you think she should have should have done, like taken upon herself? Oh, like how she should have been punished, or how should she be accountable? Yeah, mm-hmm. I, you know, because because the story was never really about her; it was about Manti Teo and the and then the missing girlfriend. Like, you they're, they're, you can't really like put down a punishment for her. I think if. It, yeah. Yes, she did go into the media and say, "Like, yes, I'm the one who did it." But what else more could she have done? Nothing. Like, but I'm saying, but in 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 the story part of it, oh, the the way Netflix the way it. the way the way Netflix portrayed it, it, they made it seem like it was a like this magnificent like coming out party, mm-hmm. like at the end. I see what you're saying. She could have shown more remorse. You yeah. know, she could have actually expressed that she recognized that she fucked someone's life up, you know, instead of like, like... All Netflix had to do at the end was show like a montage of her of her, and say, you know, blah, 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 whatever her whatever her name is now, li- is currently living in Samoa, blah, 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 blah. Right, just at the end, like just, just at the end, but not like have her dance and do this performance. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah it was weird. Because all you really did weird. is validate everything that she did. Right. Like almost like... See, she had to go through this to be her, her truth or whatever. It's like yeah, no. or like oh, now, now I'm a superstar. Like, look, right. like you, she, you think you think she's gonna show the the people the the video and say, hey, look, I'm on Netflix for fucking this guy over. No, no. she's gonna go look look forward to this spot. Look at me dancing on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. And I then, finally am living my truth. If this is my yeah. coming out, yeah. Well, and wasn't there part of the 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 story or portion of the Netflix where she was like, it's even hard for me to get a job nowadays and that's why I moved and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, good fucking for you. Yeah, that's what you get. Yeah, somehow have to pay for it. No, that's, a, that's bullshit too because you could find a fucking job anywhere. People people will hire you. They, they're not, they, they, I don't know your fucking name. Yeah. Right, you know exactly. what I mean? Like, I don't know, I don't know who you are. That's mm-hmm. true. Like, if Manti Teo applied at my work, I go, oh, Manti Teo, like, that's the guy with a fake girlfriend. Yeah. But who are you, whatever your name is? Mm-hmm. You know, you could change your name to Sade for all I care. Right. No one's yeah. gonna know who you are. The only reason why I know who you are is because Netflix made you um put you on the screen dancing in front of me. Right. That's true. Yeah. Very true. That's true. So the moral of the story is don't get fucked over by people on the internet because the internet has a lot of fucking fake people nowadays. No, don't believe everything on the internet, okay? Yeah. Including us. <laughs> well, I mean, like you know, we have different personalities, though. Like you know, there's there's times when, like like how you guys say, like at times I'm just like, re- quote unquote, reserved, right? Like I don't yeah. do much. But then you pull me in front of the of of my stream, it's like a it's like a completely different person, right? Because you're technically you're providing a show to the people, yeah, mm. exactly, right? I can, yeah. you know, the 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 whole part about being here is that when when we argue, we might not argue like this off camera but when we're on camera we have to almost go 30 percent above that because we're 30 percent more boring in front of a camera right exactly you know what i mean but naturally even if you are funny right mm-hmm. yeah. so you always have to like yeah, like more. exaggerate shit just to make the point across mm-hmm. big hand gestures you know what i mean you know you know what i mean and that's why vince always does this let me tell you guys yep and i am constantly talking with my yeah. hands always yeah because i don't do that in person yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, no, but like, yeah, just be be very careful out there. Look, if you find somebody and and then and then you you fall in love with them, all well and good. Good luck to you. Make sure they're not catfishing you. And if if they start asking for money though, don't get don't be a fool that way either. Yep, for sure. Don't get catfished out of your fucking retirement. Oh my gosh! Yeah, no, exactly. No. Well, that was a good way to end it, guys. And I like her little impromptu. She's a 10, but that yeah. was fun. That was yeah. really fun. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you again for tuning in to our podcast. We will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.